can't believe I almost started without any ring on. Shocking! Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new around here, hi, my name is Melissa or Missa. That is Potato's Tail. So today, as you can see by the title, I'm following on in my lip swatch series, I guess we'll call it. A wee mini series here on my channel. I've already done reds, but today is the turn of nudes. I have... Unlike my red one where I had three high ends with three drugstore, today is all completely drugstore bar one. And I think I'm swatching one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. yeah. We've got seven lipsticks today and only one is high end, which is telling. Maybe the drugstore does better nudes, do they? I think so. So yeah, just like with my red one, I'm going to swatch them all, show you what they look like, and then at the end of the video, I want you to give me your recommendations on what nudes I need to try, bearing in mind... I like pale nudes. This is like the darkest nude I ever go, ever. I like pale concealer lip, 2000s horror pale lips. So yeah, we're gonna stop fanning around and I jump into it. Also, did not film this eye look. I was just sitting and playing on my own. But if you like it, let me know down below and maybe I'll recreate it for a video. We'll see, but anyway. Let's go on with the lip swatches. Let's start off with the only high-end one that I have and just get that out of the way, we might as well. Uh, it's MAC Flesh Pot. I got this ages ago, I love it so much. And I've already lined my lips with MUA TLC Lip Liner. These are the best lip liners you will buy and also TLC is the best like nude lip liner you will buy, trust me on that. Go to Beauty Bay, go to Superdrug, get the MUA liners. Anyway, this is MAC. Flesh Pot is a satin formula. My lips are not in great condition, so we're just gonna have to try our best with this. It is pale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's Mac Flesh Pot. First of all, the formula is lush. I love the Mac satin formula. I think it's really comfortable, really nice, it really wears well. It's not kiss proof at all. Like. It will come off if you snog someone, but I don't even care. I wear this all the time. It is my, probably my go-to nude, like high-end nude lipstick. I love it so, so, so much. Obviously, Max on the more pricey side, but like, I think it's so worth it for this lipstick. I'm definitely going to repurchase it when it runs out. Like, like, I've used quite a lot of it. It's just the perfect shade of nude. I really have crusty, dusty lips right now. Next up, let's do a liquid lipstick. I've got two liquid lipsticks. This one is really nice. I love it so much. So this is a Wet n Wild one, which I think is still on Beauty Bay, is it? And this is a Nudie Patootie. It's a really cool toned, like, grey, beige nude. It's quite a weird colour, to be honest, but I had to put it in my nude categories because I do feel like it fits more in with my nudes than it does like my weird colours. Someone asked me to do all my weird colours, like my favourite weird ones, in a video as well and I thought that was a really good idea. So that is going to come to... There we go. So the application is going to be garbage. I don't even care. I love this colour. It is again quite a weird colour. A lot of people have bought it in the past like when I used it in videos and said oh it really doesn't suit me at all. It does not go with my skin tone and then a bunch of people come back and said it's my perfect nude. I love it so much. So it's quite a personal preference. Nude I would say it's very different from Flesh Pot. It is grey based. I would say like grey beige based and I can really see that lip liner around it because I tried to leave that on and uh it doesn't go with it, like that's a nice warm brown. That's like a grey brown. But I think it's a really cool, unique colour, and as well as that, it's a comfortable formula. I would say, Wet n Wild formula, what would I give it? 7 out of 10? In my arbitrary <laughs> rating scale that I make up on the spot. So the, yeah, the formula is pretty decent and uh, long lasting. It is kiss proof once it dries down. I just think it's lovely. Oh, she's dried down. Yeah, it's quite a hard to remove formula, which is a good thing, and a bad thing. Oh, next up, yeah, I think I'll do this one, because I think this is the one I want to take a picture of this, like, makeup look, just, like, for my thumbnail and stuff, like, wearing this one. This is a, oh, such a favourite. 
it was when I, I used to watch Jamie Genevieve and she loved this. This is Rimmel Latte to go, the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour. It's like a really thin kind of mousse formula. It's not the same as like a traditional liquid lipstick really. And this is kind of like the Wet n Wild one where it's kind of a weird tone of nude. But this is more like a, like a yellow I would say with this, formula wise, it is probably my least favourite out of all the ones that I'm going to swatch, apart from the gloss, but only the gloss is a bad formula because I hate wearing lip gloss, I just love how it looks. Uh, but yeah, this is probably like the least good, what's the better way in English of saying that? It's just not the best, it feels, it like, it doesn't feel, it goes on a wee bit patchy, uh, it's best with a lip liner, but I look past it because the colour is it's quite unique for the drugstore. How gorgeous is that colour? I was just going to go in my lip liner and clean it up and then we'll like see it a wee bit better. That is Rimmel Latte to go. Refined bit, take a few pictures, it's way cute. I love this colour so much but I will say because it does go on patchy you have to do like two layers and then it doesn't feel that comfortable. I would give this formula probably like 5 out of 10, 4.5 5 out of 10. It's not the most comfortable. It's not brilliant. It is kiss proof. Like, it is kiss proof, but it's not very comfortable, especially because you have to do a couple of layers because it's patchy. But I love it for like just short trips if I'm going out about or just like pictures. I think it's lovely. I think it's a really lovely tone. It always kind of, I feel like, fades in nice with like a nice warm blush uh, or bronzer. Do you know what I mean? It's just. I enjoy it a lot, so whilst the formula's not like the tits, the colour is the tits. I just got a comment on my latest video saying that it was wasteful putting makeup on for the video, like for the sake of the video makeup tutorial. It was wasteful to do that with the makeup, so she'll be furious that I'm putting lipsticks on right now and then wiping them off. Right, we're going to go back in with Maybelline at TLC. Nope. MUA TLC. I've got three Maybellines. I will save the gloss for the middle because these are quite similar. So this is Maybelline 710 Sultry Sand in the colour Sensational range. I've used this a lot. This is like an OG on my channel. I've had this for a really long time. Or like, I mean I've bought repeats of it but this is a colour I've worn for years. I'm putting it on on its own to show you it. Yeah, so that's Maybelline 710 or the shade Sultry Sand. I think in America they kind of change it, like what it's called or the number, but 710 Sultry Sand. It's quite a satiny one, it's got a bit of a sheen to it, not kiss proof in the slightest, but what I will say, I never wear it on its own like this. I'll usually put on like a darker nude kind of matte lipstick, something I know is going to stay on much longer, and then I'll pop this over the top to lighten it up because I like pale ass nudes. So I never wear it like this really, unless I filled my whole lips in with lip liner because it is a bit more sheer, a bit more shiny and just a bit of a pale nude so it just lightens up other colours. But I thought I should try it on on its own so you can actually see like what it looks like on its own. I really like the formula, I really like how it feels, I like the price point. I buy most of my Maybelline on Amazon rather than Superdrug because uh, I think it's it's always way cheaper on there. But yeah, that is 710. Again, very lovely, unassuming nude. But for me, more of a topper to like other nudes that I would put on. I leave the lip liner on. I'll go in with uh, my Vivid Hot Lacquer in Tees. I've used this in 787,481 videos. How do I have lipstick down here? This is a really nice pigmented gloss. If I don't know what lip to do for a video, I will always go in with this. You've seen me use it a thousand times. Like if your hair is down and it's windy, your hair is getting stuck in it. I don't understand gloss, but I understand it for how pretty it is, just not the practicality. This is one of the most beautiful nude glosses in the world. I've worn it again, this shade, for years. I love it so, so, so much. I think this is my third or fourth one. Again, get it on Amazon. I'll link them all below, but get it on Amazon. It's like three or four pounds on there, whereas you'll pay like 9 99 for that in a store. It's the most beautiful, like, pale gloss. I have a few nude glosses, but this one always, like, takes the cake. I wear it all the time. Like, if you're a regular on my channel, you'll be like, we've seen that a thousand times, Melissa. So, I'll go on with my other Maybelline. This is 981 or 
purely nude. This is the matte formula. Again, it's really pale. I don't think <laughs> this, I mean, it definitely won't be everyone's cup of tea. I don't know, I guess I don't think it will be. It's definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but if you like a pale nude, come on. Maybelline's matte formula. This one is absolutely lovely. It's so comfortable. I'd give the formula like 8 out of 10. I would give this colour 10 out of 10. It's also a really nice one if you like to lighten up other nudes that you've got or just like lighten up the centre. This is a great one for that. Not kiss proof but it will last a bit longer than like the shiny satiny kind of one. I think it's lovely. It's not too pale. I don't think it's too pale personally but I will I would like literally I do wear concealer on my lips sometimes to lighten them up Um, I think it's gorgeous very comfortable again the price point is great I'll try and find these all on Amazon as many as possible so you get like the cheapest price down below but more I'm with TLC okay we're on to our very last one this is the darkest one out of all of them this is NYX suede lipstick in fetish uh, I say it's the darkest one it's not even that dark but I think it's quite on par shade wise with um what's it called Rimmel Latte to go the, f the formula on this absolutely delightful it's wonderful and um, if you maybe really like the Rimmel color this again very very similar so maybe a better alternative actually that's a lot more comfortable but it's not as kiss proof it is quite like movie about e it's I don't, it says matte lipstick i would say it's like a satin matte it's not super super matte it's not kiss proof i think i just said that but yeah i really love this color but what i usually do with it is get like my maybelline uh, is it 710 yeah 710 and then i'd put this in the center just to lighten it up a wee pinch but again the formula is just so lovely I had to talk about it it's another one that I get so many compliments on when I wear it people always ask me what I'm wearing on my lips it matches again I got such an itchy nose it matches again into like the blush and bronzer I'm wearing MUA papaya whip and NYX silence is golden blush if you're wondering uh, you could always you know jazz it up with a darker lip liner do more of the like 90s kind of style but DSL's going on. How nice is that? That's Emmy Obsession lip pencil. That's my second favourite one. And then you could even, if you're feeling naughty, put a bit of the, the, the Maybelline gloss in the middle. But yeah, that was NYX fetish. But I've jazzed it up a bit. There we go. I tidied that one up a wee bit. Just made it look a wee bit better. But that is my favourite nude lipsticks. A couple of liquid lipsticks and a gloss. Which is weird for me, but... Considering how much I use Maybelline teas, I had to include it in here. I also want to put a strong, strong emphasis on how good the MUA lip liners are, especially in TLC and then Obsession, the darker one. They are my favourite lip liners and they go with all my nudes. And if you only had two lip liners in your life that were nudes, it would be these two, I would recommend, because they're just fabulous. That's my nudes. So yeah, done reds. Now we've done nudes, so I wonder what I look. I'm gonna need to do it for like pinks and purples because, yeah, maybe just more winged liner, simpler though next time. But yeah, that's my favourite nudes. Tell me down below what ones you've tried that you really like, or maybe you don't like my options, or what other nudes. Knowing that I like very pale nudes, what other nudes like would you recommend me to try? Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a cheeky thumbs up if you did. Make sure again to leave a comment if you want. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I put out three videos a week and every Wednesday I go live on my channel for my patrons or the sausages. Uh, this week I'll be live with Kerry on Wednesday which is very exciting. And yeah, that's going to be all from me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. It's so late at night. I'm like, what am I doing? You okay? You wanna come say hello? You wanna come say hello? Everybody misses you. Come here. Why do I look so small? Come here. Come on. <gasps> yeah. There's a potato. A wee potato. You're saying bye to everybody. You know, when I like in the camera, I like we match. My eyes and your life match.
It feels like 